Hey, this is Brian Hegney. Listen, I'm looking at your um, user interface design, and I have an idea that you guys obviously have to buy into. I, I just think I'm not... I'm not loving this. It's much better because you have this idea of showing your actual gameplay. Um, I think we can do better. I'm not sure what these circles, what these square uh, shapes are doing. I know where they came from. They're the flags. But just placing them on the screen is doing your overall design injustice. Um, they don't really flow with the game. Yes, they are from the game, but do they really represent the feeling of the game? I'm not sure about the colors. I think the colors need to go. And even these boxes need to go. Um, one issue is you guys, who's ever doing this, needs to learn how to do a UI widget. We did it last semester. Um, because all of those buttons here, these can be put in the user interface itself. Um, and actually as overlays, as buttons. But I'm not going to show that to right now, because what I want to show is something even cooler. Um, I am going to pilot this camera here by going into clicking on the perspective button and clicking on the proper camera. I think it's six. Nope. Um, is it five? Nope. It's four. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to come up a little bit. Come up, 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 up. Let's see what that looks like. Not quite. So I'm just going to go back. Does that help further away? Okay, okay. Almost. It's really weird. I wish this camera actually worked better. Uh, a little better, but I'm going to go to the right a little bit. I want this over here to the left, possibly. Although really, now what I'm going to have to say should rely on some <sighs> gameplay. Okay, I'm going to pause this while I position this properly. All right, and I did it. So if now if I click play, this is over here on the left. Yes, the background will be moved a little bit, that background image, but that's okay, because I've got something I want to do. Um, this right now isn't the right tiles. I'm in chances, and all I did was I opened up Mark, uh, Mark's and Noah's um, user interface one. I think it's this one. Yep. Right. I opened theirs up, which is so cool. These two buttons work really well. Obviously, these aren't prepared yet, but these look really good. I love them. Um, all I did was take your startup map. So I'm going to go to, oh, your title screen. I went to the title screen level. I right clicked it and I said asset actions, migrate, and then I navigated to the one I'm working on. Uh, first, I said, yes, all of this stuff work went here, went to the one I'm working on, which is right here and in here and there. Clicking on the content folder of the one that you want to migrate them to, select it, and it's going to say they already exist. Some do and some don't. So I'm going to say no to all because I, I don't want to make copies of the things that do exist but I do want to copy other things. Now that actually shouldn't have copied anything, but that's okay. Um, all right, so what I want to do is just replace all of the these current tiles that are in Mark's and Noah's, because you guys didn't have the updated version of tile BCH. Where is tile BCH? Wait, oh, this is... Yeah, wrong one. Here it is. This is the one I'm working on. I'm going to move this. Grab tile BCH01. Uh-oh. That's right, because... Ha-ha. Uh -huh. And I'm going to replace all of these with tile BCH01. I'm not going to show that happening, because it's just that the tiles have the stuff already programmed into it. Mark and um, Noah were just working with the different versions. Hold on a minute while I replace these. 
All right, what I actually did was just added one, and then when I orbit it, I'm, or when I move it, I'm actually going to copy it by moving it in 100 unit spaces by making the grid snappable to 100 units. And now when I alt drag this, it easily drags to the appropriate 300 units. Okay, now I think, does that work? Not sure why this doesn't work. Huh. Okay, I think I know why, because it's just a static mesh actor. I'm going to delete this from the game. It actually should be looking for something called PCBP. So I am going to look for that. It is a blueprint. Okay, let's search for PC. There it is. Drag that here, and now when I click play, yeah, this should work. Okay, see, already programmed in, don't need to do anything. But here's the deal. Okay, let me go ahead and go back to my camera, because I kind of changed the, the whole layout of this. I need to go like that, I think. And let me go ahead and reconfigure my my scene okay let's just pretend it's this I'm okay with that there's something going on with the lighting here we'll have to just we'll have to figure it out I don't know um, they're starting from scratch we could just duplicate the original one and create a whole new start screen from that but this is what what we could do okay we could um, can we put Okay, let's see, this is gonna be fun. I'm going to do this. So you could go here and then there. There. Let me delete that. This tile could actually land on. Um, this could be your button to credits. This could be your start button. And, ooh, I don't know why that's happening. Oh, good lord. That's. Oh, ha ha ha. Why can't I go to that one? Well, that's intriguing. I shouldn't be able to, I should be able to go to this one and that one. Not this one. Huh. Let me think about this. Oh, I had just the greatest idea, you guys. Okay. So... This is how it could start. And this button could be credits. This button could be how to play. No, 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 no. This button could be how to play. And this button could be start. Now, right? So you could click this button. You could click this button. Like you could click that. And the credits could come up here on the side. Okay. You could click over here. And then you could be like, oh, oh, what is the how to play? How to play? A little button comes up over here. And you're like, how do I get to start? <gasps> oh, I have to figure out how to get there. And then you play the game. Oh, my God. I am amazing. Um, and then you don't even need the background, really, because you know what you could do? Yes, I am that vain, people. If you haven't, if you haven't um, noticed, I can be very vain. I'm going to pause it while I make a cool thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Oh, wait, no, 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 I didn't do something yet. Hold on. 
Okay, so I can't do what I want to do right now, and it's just that I was trying to make a box that doesn't go back to green, and I kept using this bridge one, but the bridge one would always turn back to green for some reason. In any case, you could fill the rest of the scene up with the tiles that are lowered, like the the water tile, and then, you know, hey, the first thing you might do is either credits or how to play. Okay, so let's look at credits. Mm, that's nice. See all your names here, and then you see, okay, well, let me click how to play, how to start. No, 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 can't get there. Oh, let me click on this. Oh, how to play here, but how do I see about? How do I see start? Will you click on how to play? And then you could click on about, and you're like, oh, right, that's how I get to start. And then, like, you have to figure out how to do it. So, let me show you how to set that up. If you want to do this, I mean, I think this is the coolest way to start this game. And I'm going to show you how, how much better it looks.